Then I told him I liked him, and he said, couldn't relate. Cool. What's up, McAlians? That's cute, right? Robots and aliens understand each other because no one else understands them. So we should just like throw a slumber party at Area 51 or whatever. Anyway. How are y'all? I know it's been a minute, but based on your comments on my last video, y'all actually like hearing about me being on my robot bullshit. So here we go. Shout out to the birds who have been aggressively cyberbullying me all morning. Okay, so don't judge me, but I think I'm in love. I don't need to say his name because if you've been lurking my grid, you probably know. For real though, can someone please share a cure for crush disease? Like I'm talking constant butterfly rave in my stomach. This has become so intense. Like, okay, example. The other day I was hanging out with him and he was wearing this strawberry switchblade tee, which is like this totally obscure band that I definitely didn't know and best believe I wasn't about to ask who they were. So then I go home and Googled them and was up all night deep in their Spotify, listening to every demo and B-side. <laughs> Too much? Maybe, but I'm not hurting anyone. Except the 10,000 unread emails from my producer currently in my inbox. You've got mail. Why? Why do I literally feel the need to listen to every deep cut from a random band this guy wore on a t-shirt once? That's some desperate human <laughs> No offense. I just love imagining him staring at his bedroom ceiling, getting fragile to every lyric. My heart gets such a boner thinking about boys and their feelings. And honestly, I really like the band. Like, I would 100% time travel to 1984 with him to see them in concert. And then we'd get stuck in between dimensions and go get ice cream at Starcourt Mall and he's like so caught up in the moment or whatever that he just has to gently put his hand on my waist and pull me closer and- Anyways, <laughs> ugh, there's just so much of him I can watch without him knowing. It's like, how many times am I gonna pull up his tagged photos? Whatever, he'll never know. But seriously, I'm talking about more than just accidentally finding his Finsta. Like, I've fully lurked him on YouTube and watched everything. And don't judge me, because we've all been there. But I was on one of his channels and found a super emo cover of Creep by Radiohead that he did at his high school talent show. Clearly, he was singing about me, because the biggest creep I know is sitting right here in front of this camera. You know what I don't get? Everyone's always like, Ooh, Mick, what's your type? And for me, it's not about checking things off a list, like tall, dark hair, good dancer, thirst following less than 10 Instagram models. It's more about the energy they give off. Like, I can love looking at someone who's f sexy, but that doesn't necessarily mean I'm into them. Like, I need something more to actually have a crush. And then once I have that, I want even more. Like, with this crush I have now, I just, I want to get to know him better. Like, tell me how you felt when you peed your pants at school in fourth grade better. I was feeling this exact way in that first vid I posted. Kind of insecure about how to make relationships work. Maybe I should listen to my own advice and just be honest with him. Text him. Who cares? The climate apocalypse is going to kill us all anyway, right? Maybe what stops me is... Fear of rejection. I know, I know, it's so basic, but... I haven't exactly had the best luck with love in the past. The first guy I ever dated cheated on me after like two weeks with some girl who couldn't even spell receipt. I, I mean, neither can I, but that's not the point. And then I had a crush on this guy I made music with, but then I told him I liked him and he said, couldn't relate. Cool. But at the end of the day, it's like, who cares? You know, I'm probably too busy for a boyfriend or girlfriend anyway, because I'm just like really into my work. Honestly, why am I so confused about this? If someone doesn't like me back, I'd rather know right away so I can stop obsessing and move on. Speaking of obsessing, do you guys ever like make up stories in your head about your crushes? Like, oh, they probably spend the weekends with their family because they're just so sensitive and genuinely like to hang out with their parents who are still alive and together and like... <sighs> no. Okay, Bermuda's on her way over and I'm not trying to have her make a cameo so she can go on and on about how all 700 polka dot reformation dresses are like totally different, at least not yet. Because I'm such a good friend. But before she gets here, I need your advice. Should I double text my new crush? I already sent him a cursed Squidward meme, but I feel like I need to follow it up with something sexy. But Squidward is sexy. Anyway, be good to yourselves, drink a Michelada in a sheet mask, and remember to recharge your heart. See you soon.